I'll never forget hearing the story. A lady that we had uh, worked with and did ministry with, a mother who accepted this message and she wanted to get serious. She wanted to get out of the city into the country. But her child didn't want to go with her. Her child had got caught up in city life, was upset with the changes that were being made and didn't want to revive and reform. And so the child began to start getting rebellious. Didn't want to go to church, didn't want to do anything that the parent was doing and that parent had moved out. And all of a sudden the child ran away and went back to the city. Mother was sad. She was praying for that child. Kept trying to bring the child back. But every time they brought the child back, guess what would happen? The child would just run away again. Finally, it was a Friday night. And the child was going to go out to a house party. He was a teenager in the wrong crowd. And there was a house party going on on a Friday night. And so that 7 Avenue young man went to the house party. His cousins knew about the house party, but they were giving their heart to the Lord, and they wanted to bring their cousin back from the house party and try to bring them to Jesus. And so the cousins found where that house party was, was held, and the cousins went there. The cousins went into the party and was looking for their cousin. They looked around, and they found the young man. And when they found him, they said, come on, let's go outside. And the young man came outside with him. He said, please. They said, look, it's Friday night. You know, it's the Sabbath. The sun is set. Please, let's go to our house. The young man said, no, I want to party. They said, please, why don't we go to our house. And they fussed with him and restrained with him, and they had a close relationship, so they kept talking back and forth, and finally, the young man said, okay, okay, I'll go back with you, but let me just go back in and do something else real quick, talk to this person, and so he went back into the house party. Two minutes went by, and the cousins didn't see him outside. They said, we're not going back again. They knew that demons were in that house party. And so they stood outside, and they were praying. They said, Lord, please bring our cousin back out. And they began to pray and plead and pray and plead. Five minutes passed, 10 minutes passed, 15 minutes passed. They said, okay, he just went back in there. He went and played. They said, okay, well, I guess he's not going to come. And so they left and went back home. Immediately after they had left, when that young man had went into the house party, he went and started dancing with some more and partying around. And about 30 minutes later, a young man in the house party took out a gun. Put it straight up in the air. He wasn't trying to shoot anybody. He simply said, cut off the lights. Let's have a good time. Let's party. He cut off all the lights, shot a gun up in the air. Boom, just one shot. Boom, went straight up in the air. The bullet went straight up in the air, came straight back down, and went through the young man's heart and killed him instantly. It was his last opportunity for salvation, and he missed it. Do you know, brothers and sisters, wouldn't it be a shame for this week to be your last opportunity for salvation and you are so busy with everything else, careless in the church, but then saying, Lord, it's time to take this serious. Tomorrow is not promised. I don't know about you, but I want my calling and election to be made sure. Don't you?